Fear Zone Channel, your channel of terror. Good morning to all, and before starting the story, I ask many thanks to you who speak the English language, especially in the comments, where it is helping me a lot to improve the translation, because I have two horror channels on YouTube, which is the Zone of Fear, and the channel Midnight in Brazil, with more than 300 stories, and I intend to translate all these stories into this new channel in the English language. And my name is Edson Bispo. Now let's go to today's report. Hello, good night everyone, and now, let's go to the story today, which is Mr. Jose, and this happened to him, in the city of Guarapuava, which is in the state of Piranha, and at that time it was in the year 2003, Mr. Jose was 42 years old. And it all starts like this, I live with my wife and two sons, in a very simple neighborhood of my city, where there in the evening, it is very scary this region, because there are many forests and forest in the place. But my house is inside a place in my family, where my father also lives on that property. But one morning, I was in my residence resting a little, and in that I heard some past my yard, then I thought it would be my father, because he had sometimes the custom of walking around the property and looking through the woods of the forest in the evening. With this, I just took a look out the window and saw that it was himself, but my father went to a place near the fence and stood looking at the bush. Well, I didn't care much for him and keep resting on the couch, thinking a little about life. But suddenly I started hearing some noises, looked again out the window, and I saw my father and our dogs trying to find something near the place. So I decided to leave my house. I went to my backyard to see what was going on, and when I got close to my father, I saw some big stones in his hands. I asked him what he was doing. My father told me he was stoning some kind of weird dog hiding in the woods, and he told me to look near some trees he had in that thicket next to our place. I soon observed well, and I saw a kind of big animal trying to hide, and it crouched through the dark vegetation, but it seemed that this creature was marking us. My father also said that this beast was not afraid of us or dogs. The fact is, I looked again, and it was already gone through the scrub, but my father, he started talking that he couldn't identify what animal it was, and because of its size and appearance, that being, it would be very dangerous if it attacked us, and my father didn't even want to know, he went to his house to pick up his shotgun that he used to hunt. At that moment I stood in the yard with my dogs, but then I picked up some rocks on the ground and started throwing in the bush to see if that animal appeared again, so when I threw the fourth and fifth stone in various directions through the bush, then I heard some growls like a brave dog in the middle of the vegetation and it ran from side to side in the midst of the bushes and hid in a part of the forest. Although it looked like a large animal, this animal to me was just a dog and I wasn't afraid nor worried about it. However, what happened right after is that my dogs went to the bottom of our property precisely by the place where the beast fled. There were a lot of tall woods and bushland all over this area, and even inside our property, and over there, my animals started to latir near that thicket vegetation, but my dogs didn't have the guts to invade that high bush. At that time, I was thinking, is the creature that's there? Well, I took courage, and I took a stick in my hands, and walked, as far as the dogs were barking, soon I began to open that forest with the wood, and also with my hands, but what happened is that it was very dark that place. And I couldn't see very well, but as I opened that thicket, out of nowhere, I was surprised by a dark figure, which appeared in that vegetation, and bit my arm. At the time I was frightened by this attack, and as I was in great danger, I began to ask for help from my father, but he did not appear, as he had a stick in his hands, I took advantage, and I hit several times on the animal's head with a piece of wood for him to let go and with the blows that this beast took by surprise it dropped my arm almost fainting and knocked out the creature was half kneeling on the ground trying to recover from the beatings it took 
At that time my dogs, seeing that this strange creature was stunned, and this they went up, this animal, but soon, this creature to my surprise, he stood up and stood like people, balancing only on two legs. I was amazed to see this monster in front of me, and this werewolf ran upright and growling in pain because of the beatings I hit him on the head, and those noises that the werewolf made was scary, but my dogs chased him anyway. Then cleverly this beast jumped over the fence of my place and ran away toward the forest and disappeared into darkness. I was amazed, for I saw this creature running standing only with both legs, as if it were a man running away, and this being growls in pain from the beatings he took on his head, and I could not believe what I was seeing, and I was really afraid that I ran Kindoff kneeling and stumbling on the floor, and in my mind, the appearance of that black creature standing, and with the eyes of yellowish light, I had no doubt that it could be a werewolf. As I ran away towards my house, my father showed up with his rifle along the way, and he came running for my calls for help, and right after, I stood with him and warned him that this animal who was in the woods was a werewolf. Well, what I did was take my father to my house that morning, because only he who had a gun in our place, I had my wife and two more children to raise too, so it's I couldn't take any chances and stand there in the backyard waiting for the werewolf to hunt him down, because my father wanted to catch this creature. However, we went to my residence. But I didn't say anything to my wife, but she suspected it was happening, something serious in our field, because of the noises of that whole stir. After that, I kept looking around from all sides of my residence, and I left the outside light on to scare away the creature. I was waiting for this beast to appear again or enter our backyard, and if that did, I would shoot for sure to defend my family. But with the strong beatings, which I gave in the head of this werewolf, I doubted that he would return that night, for for me, this creature would be very hurt. The fact is, this beast disappeared in that dark scrub, and at least, I saw no sign of this beast near my property, but as soon as it dawned, my father and I had to disguise and hide from our relatives, which had attacked me, so as not to leave them terrified. And the bite I took on my arm, there was no time for the werewolf to hurt me, for I was wearing a thick cold blouse, and also I was very quick to give the beatings on the werewolf, which did not give time of this creature hurt me. And with that, the days went by, and I wouldn't let my kids, and not my wife, go out in our backyard in the evening so they wouldn't get attacked by that bug. One day, my father went to buy some vegetables in a farm, near our village and he told the greengrocer what had happened in our house and with me and that was a werewolf who attacked us and conversation comes and conversation comes the owner of this vegetable garden also told something to my father that may have some connection with that werewolf because this greengrocer said to him that a guy who sometimes helped him carry boxes of vegetables and vegetables a few days a week can not come to work because he would have caught someone on the street and his head was badly injured that almost the helper had hit trauma and my father hearing this soon became suspicious of this employee in which the vergerero spoke and my father after this conversation the other days he came around the house of the man who sold vegetables again to see if he could find this wounded helper in the head but that suspect did not show up after a few days, my father and I went together to the Vergerero's property to learn more of the head-injured helper, who was our prime suspect to have turned the werewolf. This lord told us that it's been days since this cashier came back to work because our suspect wasn't even from the city and that no one knows where this guy went. The owner of the vegetable garden thought his helper returned to his city after what happened to him. But in this whole story, at least this werewolf no longer appeared on my sight, and also, I take care to this day, when I have to walk on my property in the evening, because I do not know when this beast may be around again. And I asked a question, which I'm going to leave in the air, for you to answer, 
that maybe that man, who worked in the vegetable garden with the greengrocer, and appeared with a bruised head, was it who turned this werewolf, who attacked my residence? That's the question for you. Good night. Well guys, thanks for watching my video, and if you enjoyed the report, one like, share this story, and also subscribe to the channel to receive new videos every week until the next.